get a chance to um, spend some time with you guys. So, Así how have you been? Antes de comenzar, yeah. vamos a pasar un poco de tiempo. ¿Cómo he estado? Bien. Good, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you've been here before, right? Ha venido aquí antes, sí. There's something really special about the people here, and that is borne out every time I see a patient and every time I see a new family, and it's it's important work, and it's important to be here. I'm the new pediatrician here, medical director for pediatrics, and after about, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks, I became the medical director for women's health as well. I think I first said I wanted to be a pediatrician when I was about nine. That actually is from my dad. He used to say, if you have the ability to help somebody, you have the responsibility to help somebody. Doing my fellowship, or just after my fellowship, I learned about the Epidemic Intelligence Service Office. Um, I thought, that's the coolest thing in the whole world. Like, you go out and investigate outbreaks and pandemics and, you know, figure it out when other people can't. So I did that for two years, and then there was a project in Pakistan, in, in Karachi, working with children who had suffered uh, malnutrition as a result of gastroenteritis, and that's due to um, unsafe and unclean water. And then the uh, most recent time being overseas was for the last nine months in Bangladesh with uh, Medicine Sans Frontier Doctors Without Borders. And I was working in a Rohingya refugee camp, the world's largest refugee camp, 1.1 million refugees, half of whom are children, and all of whom are in desperate need of medical care. I was there to teach all of the doctors who work there and, you know, improve the medical care and improve outcomes. And um, in the nine months that I was there, I helped to reduce the mortality rate by over 50%. So after Bangladesh, I was going to Gaza. And that's when my two daughters put their foot down. And I was like, no, you're not going. I have people who depend on me here. And I used to tell th them all the time, you know, there are people in our own backyard who need our help. And having just spent so much time working with refugees, I was really interested in pursuing refugee or immigrant health. And one of the things uh, that I love about New Bedford Community Health is uh, the integrated community health workers that we have throughout the health center. We have once a week, I think, they're here. Um, moms can bring in their children and their newborns and they get support in terms of breastfeeding and counseling and behavioral support and um, peer support just to help reduce uh, some of the, the risks of postpartum depression. Y me pareció muy curioso venir eh, a saber sobre qué se trataba porque siempre he tenido problemas con la lactancia desde primer, de mi primer hijo y quise saber cuál es la experiencia aquí es la primera vez en mi país soy de Ecuador, no hay eh, todavía está, no está muy desarrollado y hay muchas personas que el primer día que vine fue, wow, diferentes experiencias eh, ayudaron que, como la, la de lactancia a los bebés y acerca de nuestro grupo, pues muy encantada. Venimos a, yo vengo a desestresarme porque paso también sola en la casa y a ella también la, la hago ver todo. Entonces me gusta este, este grupo. Hay más gente, pero es muy bonito. When I first got here, what I was shocked was one to two patients a day, children, who are treated here for serious suicidality. So either with or without a plan, but serious suicide risk. That's an astounding number. And if you start talking to people, which I do every day, um, and asking them about their experiences, they'll talk about racism in, in various forms and bullying and, and physical bullying, as in getting beaten up in school. The emotional distress that our families undergo, that level of their chest being tight, and feeling vulnerable and at risk happens every day, 24 hours a day, without rest. So we're funded by the federal government and we accept everybody, whether you have insurance or not, and we turn away nobody. That's basically baked into our mission. You know, the appreciation, the gratitude, um, and the sense of trust of 
parents who are just, you know, these are the most important things in the world to them, and then they trust you to take care of them. It's such, really is an honor.